Uh, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. US 30 there is slowly turning down this morning as it uh, fails to break through potential resistance at 16.969 for the second time. Most of the global markets are selling off slightly this morning there as well. Uh, obviously, I haven't reached fresh all time highs, it's not surprising. There's a little bit of profit taking and obviously lots of concern over Iraq and Ukraine as ever. So, this would be a doji formation if it closes at this point today, um, though we'd have just started the session. But 16.969 is the level to watch on the US 30. Looking at the UK 100, it's selling off a bit more aggressively. Bearish engulfing pattern right here. We had this uh, ascending triangle formation. We drew on there previously. It might be looking like either the 21 period SMA or that uh, that, that trending support line might be acting as potential short-term resistance. Uh, next potential support is at 6774. Um, the UK market seems to be suffering more than many others. US, uh, the Germany 30 is down about 86 points or 0.85. Uh, the UK 100 is actually down a little bit less now. So the, the German market is selling off even more aggressively as we speak this morning. Japan 225 also posting a bearish engulfing pattern. We could be looking at a retracement back down to potential. This was potential resistance now reversing to become potential support. 15219 is the level to look at. Uh, and we are a long way away from the next potential resistance, which is 15828. Uh, but it looks like we are getting a little bit of profit taking already hit, hitting the markets this morning. Looking at US dollar Japanese yen, it's not really that exciting, but we do have an, a bearish engulfing pattern here as well. Potential short term support at 101 spot 60, next one at 101 spot 35. If you really want to see where the action is, look at Euro yen. It is selling off a lot this morning. There's lots of safe haven yen buying on the back of what's happening over in Iraq with the deteriorating situation across there. More towns, airports, border crossings now falling into the ICE's hands. And um, I can see there already that Euro yen is, is, is going down quite a lot. 138 spot 47 if you're looking for safe haven FX trading. Looking at West Texas crude, looks like we might rechallenge potential resistance at 107 spot 86. Next potential resistance is at 110. If we do happen to have a reversal, which seems um, to be quite a tough ask in this climate just now. The fundamentals are really supporting crude oil right now. You could be looking at 105, but look to 107 spot 86 as a potential resistance to look at. Gold has been going great guns, had a fantastic session there on Thursday, one of the best days I've seen in gold for years. And um, we could be looking at the symmetrical um, triangle uh, support level as acting as support again. You can see the tips of these two candles right here. The next potential resistance at 1332. Gold is where most of the action is just now. You've got the double whammy of um, safe haven buying, coupled with uh, Yellen's monetary policy uh, that came out on Thursday, uh, which is all about um, you know, inflation, inflation reissue, potential inflation reissues in the US. Gold is the ultimate hedge against inflation. Very, very popular, finally breaking out there. Uh, this is a significant breakout, so keep your eyes on gold. Um, looking at euro dollar, it's drifting a little bit lower. Two very volatile sessions on Thursday and Friday. Uh, it's struggling to move higher again today. Look at one spot 35.68 as potential support. And UK 100, not UK 100, GBP USD um, broke above the five and a half year potential resistance at one spot 70.48 on Thursday and Friday. Peaked its head above there was unable to close above there. We look to be having another chance again today, but there certainly seems to be a little bit of uh, pressure, a little bit of USD uh, buying against these other two FX pairs. So that's the level for us to break. If we get a break and close above one spot, 70 spot, uh, one spot 70, 48, that would be a significant uh, milestone for cable. So I come up data wise, we did have um, China uh, PMI came out slightly better than expected. Nothing else really due out today. Same idea tomorrow, you've got US CCI, not really a, a massive piece of data. On, Friday, on Wednesday, you've got US GDP and of course crude oil inventories and you know many traders will of course be looking at crude over the next couple of sessions. Keep your eye on the chart forum as ever for more support and updates from our global analyst team and make sure you make insights part of your layout and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.